I'm back with Dr. Tammy and today we are going to make some of the cutest little puppets. They're called marionette puppets. And this is what you're going to need for this project. You are going to need some pop sticks or just sticks from a tree. They will do as well. Going to need some string. Definitely need some string, some tape. You're going to need some paper towel roll or tube from a toilet paper. Make sure that you maybe sanitize them a bit. You're going to need some glue or a hot glue gun. You're going to need some eyeballs. You don't really need eyeballs, but you can draw them on. And also some beads for their little feet. Or maybe you could use some buttons if you don't have any beads. Next, you're going to need a pencil, a sharpie or a texter. You're going to need a ruler, a paintbrush, some scissors, and also some card. I've used card that is just from a cereal box, so you can recycle those as well. I think that's all you're going to need. Okay, to start, we're going to need to cut our tubes into a body, a head, and I've got a little extra bit, so I'll chuck that out. So we've got our body and we've got our head, and now we want to seal in one side of our head. So we're going to take the head and we're going to draw a little circle around it on a piece of scrap cardboard. Then we're going to draw another circle around it, where we're actually going to cut, and we're going to draw some lines, those are going to be lines where we're going to cut because we're going to create some tabs or what they call a flange. The flange will be what we tape to the inside of our tube. So you can see I'm just cutting it out there. I'm going to cut on all those little lines all the way down to that circle. Cut, 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 turn and cut, turn and cut. Careful your fingers all the way around. And then I'm going to fold them in onto until that line. So I'm going to fold it back all the way around. It kind of looks like a little sun, doesn't it? It's a cute little sun. Foldy, 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 foldy. All the way around, all the way around. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some sticky tape and I'm going to tape it to the inside. So I'm going to put a bit of, of tape on the inside one side and then on the other side and then I'm going to push it down into the head the shorter one the shorter tube because that's my head push it inside and then I'm going to stick my fingers inside there and I'm going to glue stick it on so that's going to kind of make it secure it's not going to move anywhere all good so next we're going to do some painting we're going to paint our head so we're making a cow today decided. So I'm going to paint the whole of my tube uh, white. Painty, 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 painty. Make it nice and white. I don't want the paint too thick because otherwise it's going to take ages to dry. So I'm just going to put a thin coat of paint on and then I may have to do a second coat of paint depending on how thick your paint is. I've used acrylic paint here but you can use poster paint as well. You can even, if you don't have any paint, you can just take some colored paper and stick it on. No problems. So there's my head, nice and painted. And here goes my body. I'm painty, 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 painty. Oh, I'm quite fast at painting, aren't I? Get it all covered. This is going to be my bottom layer. And it's going to the body of my cow. Nice and white. Get it all done. Good job, Tammy. Nicely painted. That looks great. Great job. All right. So there we go. Done. Now they've got to dry. Dry, 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 dry. All right. Dry. So next, I'm going to take a bit of scrap um, cardboard. This is just a cardboard that's from a cereal box. And I'm going to draw on the ears. So I'm making a cow. I need some nice, big, floppy ears. I'm also going to make a set of horns. I kind of drew them in one. I'm not really sure why I did this. I kind of made a happy face, but that's that's the horns. Later on, you'll see. I'm going to kind of cut them in half to make two separate horns. Uh, next, what else do we need to? Oh, we need um, a set of udders. <laughs> yeah, got to go some some udders. Cows got udders. Yep, got to milk a cow sometimes. That's where we get our milk from. <laughs> a little bit cute. So we've got our ears, horn, 
How does, what else does a cow have? Oh, it's got a tail. Yep. Good thing, you know. I don't know how it works on a cow. There we go, just in case I don't know. I'm now going to label them for some reason. Maybe I'll forget. <laughs> All right, then I'm going to cut them out. Chop, chop, chop. chop. All right, now I'm going to paint them. A nice pink set of udders. Painty, painty, painty. Can't look like little fingers. Hello, hello, hi, hi. So paint, paint. Oh, I was going to paint the other side. I decided to have to do that after they dried. Next thing I'm going to paint the ears black. Actually, when I painted the other side, I decided that I didn't like the black and ended up painting the other side blue. So you'll see that later on. Did the tail too. Bit silly. Bit of a pain in the backside, really. Oh, went over by mistake. And there we go. There is the yellow for the horns. All right, next we're going to measure the string. We need to make four pieces of string at 30 centimeters long, which is the length of a ruler. So it doesn't matter if you make four, four of them a little bit longer. Maybe in hindsight I would have made them a bit longer, but around about 30 centimeters. So we're going to have two for the legs. You'll see what when I string them later. And then we're going to have one that goes through the neck and one to go through the bottom. Uh, then we're going to do another one at 20 centimeters. That's for his bottom. Next, we're going to do some painting. So first, I'm going to paint the end of his snout nice and pink. Now, if your white wasn't very um, opaque, it didn't cover nicely, you could probably paint that again. But mine was pretty opaque, so I just went with it. So that's the end of his nose. Painty, 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 and I'll put that side to dry. Next, I'm going to paint some blue splotches because he's going to be a dairy cow. He's going to have nice blue splotches could have they kind of look like little clouds all over his little body I'm going to paint them all the way around I'm going to let some go over the, over the side so he kind of looks a little bit more 3d not too thick paint again because otherwise it takes ages to dry we don't want to have to wait forever I actually use the hair dryer in between to get them to dry okay now that they're nice and dry we're going to draw on some details and first I'm going to do some nostrils Little half circles for his little nostrils. And then little I gave her a little smile. I think I'm gonna call her Daisy. Oh cute. Too cute. Now I'm kinda of gonna draw where the eyes go. If you don't have some googly eyes, you can just draw your eyes on like that. But I had some googly eyes and I tried to stick them on with a bit of glue stick. And you'll see that was an epic fail because they fell off later. I had to glue them on with some stronger glue. I reckon a hot glue gun would work better for that. All right, then I was going to stick on his ears. Now this was a palaver. Uh, didn't I, I, you've got to bend, make little tabs so that you can stick them on. And I stacked them on sticking up at first, and they looked a little cute. But then when I went to put on the ear, the horns, they looked really weird. I didn't know where to put them. So you'll see, I kind of brrr, fast forward, fast forward, and I ended up turning the ears down, and then gluing on. The horns just in front of it so remember to make a little tab bend the end a little so that your tab tab goes on well so you can see that that worked a little bit better all right next is to put the string through so we're going to take the sharp side of the scissors we're going to push it through one on each side careful don't prick your finger so push it through don't let it go through into your finger make sure you've got a little space there one on each side evenly all the way across then on the other side as well push all the way through the other side so now there's a hole going straight through then we're going to push some holes for their legs so you're going to end up with three holes across all even evenly spaced so that the legs will hang parallel to each other and then we're going to push a hole into his head the top and through his neck the bottom perfect now we take the string and we're going to first thread the string through to make his his legs so through one leg hole making that hole a little bit bigger and then pushing it through the string can kind of get stuck so it's a bit of a pain in the backside so there we go we've got the string through the first two holes and then back through the other so remember to leave the hole in the middle those three holes across the hole in the middle leave that one free so now you've got his little legs hanging perfect then we take the next one 
we're going to push it through that center hole. It's always a bit hard to get that string through. It's going to be driving me nuts. Push, push. I think I ended up cutting up. Cough, off, off, off. Oh, made it. And through to the other side. So now you've got through and through, one through the bottom. I'm going to tie a knot in that bottom hole and pull it through. So now it can't pull any further. Then we're going to we pull, make a little knot for his neck because that's his neck that's sticking through there. So that length there needs to be what the length of his head will be. And so the head, you'll put it through the hole and it won't be able to pull through because that knot will stop it pulling through. So that will be his neck or her neck or Daisy. Daisy doesn't know what she is or he is. And back through that hole. Yay! So now, oh, there, there it is. There it is. Anyway, we'll stick it on with a bit of Tarzan glue. It'll never come off. Never come off. There we go. So now we need to put his the hole through his, his bottom. It'll go up to, to your sticks at the top. I'm going to tie a knot again, just so that it doesn't slip right through. Tie a knot through. Yep, perfect. Doo -doo -doo. Looking good. Right, so now he needs feet. So we're going to take those beads. And we're going to push them through. Tie a knot on the bottom. Now, if you don't have beads, you can use a button. You could hot glue down a button on it. You could even put a little bit of clay or blue, glue, glue, glue tack, blue tack through the bottom. Just so that it weighs down his legs, so he's got little feet on the end. I'm going to chop those off. Tie little knots on the bottom. Make sure that the legs are the same length, otherwise you're going to end up with a bit of a lopsided. Whoop, whoop. Yep. Pull, pull. There we go. His legs look like they're right now. Oh, try to get that through there. I think I need my glasses. Oh, through the hole it goes. Oh, no. <clears throat> get it in there. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, baby. What's gonna happen now? Boom. All right. So we make sure his legs are the same length. Tie that knot so that that little bead doesn't drop off the bottom. Chop, chop. Perfect. Now, his ear came off. Fancy that. Stick it back on again. Right. What is he missing? He's missing some a tail and some udders. So we just make a little tab again. Everything that we glue on, you need to make a tab. Stick it to these to underneath and do the same with the tail stick it underneath oh we've got a cow he's ready he's ready but first we're going to tie it on to the top onto our little cross so this is the part that makes it a marionette or makes it a puppet so that you can walk around we'll tie a double knot on there tie 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 turn it down so the knot is facing to the bottom and then we're going to measure so that it's even. You want his body to be kind of straight so that it doesn't hang lower, his bottom doesn't hang lower. So just measure that. You might need to get someone to help you here and tie those knots. It's just quite tricky to do with one hand holding and then trying to tie and blah, blah, blah. Boom! He's done! He's done! He's done! Now for playing time, cleaning up time first. Do -do 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 -do. He's dancing, he's dancing, he's so happy, he's dancing. Oh, I'm a cow, I'm in a field. Look at me, I'm walking around, I'm walking around. I'm so cute. Oh, oh my goodness, what is that? Is that? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, run, run, run. Oh no, I'm frozen. Oh, it's, it's a tiger. It's coming, it's getting me. Oh my goodness, I'm scared. Run away, run away. Yahoo! <laughs> All right, don't you just love our little puppets? Post it on Facebook if you do one. I'd love to see your different animals. Get your mum or your dad to post it up there so that I can see your beautiful little creations. Have a lovely day. Love you all. Bye.